Hi, it's hello Deb. We've just arrived at the caravan. Uh, well, first of all, welcome back to the caravan Addis. Uh, we've just arrived at the caravan and we've had a stressful journey because we decided to come the road away and we've caught every bit of school traffic there is. It took us nearly two hours. We've not had a stressful journey. Well, I have. You've mourned all the yeah. way here. But uh, picked the wrong time to come. Anyway, we've got here. And we've no keys. Who's left the keys at home, Deb? Both of us. B where are the keys, though? In my car. In well, what? Have you not got them out? Can you not say you've got keys? Yeah, but... Yeah, but... So it's both of us? Right, well, it's both of us, so we've Did left... Did you pack anything, Tony? No. No. So while I was packing, you didn't think, oh, get keys. No, but you blame Deb. It's not Deb's fault, it's both of us. Because you were sat there while I was packing everything. Errol, we've travelled two hours in all that traffic. Two hours. Um, we've no keys, can't get in, so we, two hours. we've put our bacon and sausages in um, Paul and Denise's fridge uh, till uh, Wendy arrives because we're getting our Wendy. What time did they say they get here? She didn't. Right, so we're getting our Wendy and Darren to nip our house. Hopefully, our Anthony's in. Uh, get keys out at Kerr and they'll not be here for a couple of hours or so. Do you want to go for a meal? Yep. So we'll go for a meal, eh? I can't see Anthony opening the door because Amazon's just told me when parcel's been delivered to a neighbour. Yeah, he's in. Right, so we're going to go to, what's it called? Coaching horses. Coaching horses. So it's not all bad. And then we'll get him when he comes back. So we'll say bye-bye, Deb. Bye-bye, Deb. Thanks for leaving keys, Deb. It's not me. You're not blaming me this weekend. All right. I'll, I'll show, I'll all right. show you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Pass half an hour away, Deb. Isn't it? No. Get the seating, just wait for my peppercorn sauce. See you in a bit. No, but see you in a bit. As you can see, favourite Wiggin Warriors playing Warrington tonight. Oh, look at this one, how he's turned up. What's that top you've got on, Darren? Oh my god. Right, never mind. Come on, Wiggin. Look at Deb, she's freezing, it's 90 degrees outside, she's got that pound eater on. Hey, it costs his pounds to run, oh, I mean. Yeah. Right. Right. Pounds, my, my pounds. Right. It's not that blue eater, it's See you in a bit. Morning. Don't know why I keep saying morning, because Deb puts this video out at 7 o'clock on a Sunday night. Uh, I'm just making some quick breakfast. Uh, we're not having plant-based bacon today. Uh, I mean proper baker, getting half a chicken on that. So I'm just making uh, bacon sausage and egg on toast for me and just baking an egg on bread for Deb. Uh, cooking in this because we do like it. And then uh, just let you know what's happening today. My sister's coming up. It's, uh, well, women don't like mentioning the birthdays, so I'll not tell you how old she is. It's one of her big birthdays. She's not 30 and she's not 50. Um, so she's coming up and we'll have a ride up to Clearland's Caravan Park. Look at Deb, we're in the window, I don't know if you can see her. Give us a wave, Deb. She sleeps rough in the morning. I know, she didn't hear that. Um, so we'll go have a ride up to Clearland's Caravan Park, have some food. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll crack on with this. Oh, we've got to give you some update on the caravan. Exciting times. Um, we'll let you know when it's coming. I don't know why my hand's shaking, but is that better? Right, so yeah, I'll crack on with this. Let's make some proper breakfast and I'll see you in a bit. Right, try to find her Ellen. It's her birthday today. I can't find her anywhere. But she's in here. She's in here, Ellen. Really. No. Oh, hi Katie. Hello. Are you alright? Yeah. That's her Ellen's daughter. Hi Rebecca, was her Ellen on? Any idea? Uh, she's no. gone off because she's turned 40. <sighs> she's hiding. She's run off. I didn't mention her age. You're not supposed to say things like that about a woman's age. Do you know who she is? 40? Yeah. I thought she was 50. You got that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> right, okay then. If you see your mum, tell her I'm looking for her. All right, all right. I will catch her. Bye. See you in a bit, everybody. Bye. Bye. Well, we've just arrived at the fabulous Stepping Stones restaurant at Gerstang, Clearlands Caravan Park. We can't show her Ellen because she's camera shy. Are oh. you ready for your food? Oh, yeah. This is also open to the public. 
Oh, we're well, watching United. Are you playing? Right, let's go and have some food. This is open to the public, so we've come 35 minutes to get here. So we're going to have some proper food. See you in a bit. Here we go. Oh, ten of us. Oh, there's some food now. We'll show what it looks like when it comes. There's a menu. Cracking menu, that. I'm having the spicy chicken pizza. Chips and peppercorn sauce. Well, that's not a bad menu, is it? Right, we'll show you the food when it comes. See in a bit. Food has started to arrive. When they serve on fish and chips. When they serve on the salt, yeah, she likes the salt out, when doesn't you? Yeah. Right, I'll show you mine when it comes. My, oh my, oh my, oh my god. Come on. It's not little them down, are they? No. Is it good? Mmm. Mm. The Addis family. Right, I'm going to eat this now. See you in a bit. And this is why we come to Playland's Caravan Perch, Stepping Stones restaurant. That is awesome. And that's just mine, by the way. See you in a bit. Right, we've just come out to Clayland's Stepping Stones restaurant. Can anybody get the seatbelt on? Only just. I've had to get an extension. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. That though. was the best meal we've had for a long time, wasn't it, Deb? The best Lovely. fish and chips yeah. ever. I think we've decided we're going to go there every Friday, haven't we? Yeah. Instead of going takeaway. Well, yeah. You're paying. No, no. See you later. See Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Morning. Sunday morning. Bank holiday weekend. We're having a day out today. We're going to a car boot sale. St. Michael's on wire or something. I mean, Deb's got a wellies. Uh, it's a little bit wet out there. Well, morning, Deb. Morning. Uh, She's just making herself beautiful. Uh, I'm tidying up your mess. So we might get out today. <laughs> joke, joke. Hey! That was a joke. You ball get. <laughs> what the. Uh, uh, keep, keep putting me down, pal. I'm not putting I'll you down. Look here. He's the real boss. Mrs. Inch can't do anything but cleaning. Well, yeah. uh -huh. um, we're going to go for a walk to uh, to get that food off last night. Oh, I know. Huge. If Even you, Darren brought some more. If you're in the vicinity, you don't have to be on uh, on Clayland. You have but try out Stepping Stones. Oh, yeah, stones. Stepping Stones. Just Google Stepping Stones restaurant on... Weavers Lane, Garstown. We decided we'd go start going instead of Indian on Fridays. If we didn't decide, you did. No, we all did. It's we not good did. for you going every every week. Well, we always have a takeaway on a Friday. Uh, so, but it's only a thirty minute drive from here. Mm. So we're gonna go up there. You get a big meal like that for what twelve quid? Mm. Yeah. But well, you get a pound, fifteen quid, sixteen quid. What's well, good? Uh, we're gonna give you a chat later on on the vlog about uh, exciting news. We've got a date for our caravan, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So we'll let you know when we're picking it up. Uh, this is going. Uh, oh. So next week, get one more. No, tell me, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait oh, till oh, later yeah. on. But uh, if you look you've at this- you bought, let's just say, you've got to be very busy. You just call me Mrs. Inch. Well, the reason I call her Mrs. Inch is because this caravan we've got now is two and a half years old. Right, and sometimes, sometimes you get, you know, little scratches on paintwork or woodwork or anything. This is in immaculate condition. Carpet wants another clean. Carpet wants a clean, but this is immaculate condition. So, if anybody's interested in a <laughs> in a new caravan, uh, ring Stuart Longtons, speak to Merton, uh, Jake, or Steve, and ask for the caravan addies because it's absolutely. Immaculate this. Seriously, there's nothing wrong with it. Um no and thanks, then, no thanks to you. And then, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Well then and then uh, speak to Mike at Shoot Longtons, he'll set you up with a uh cracking awning for it. Uh get a good deal with this. Um Errol, I I can't do sell our bloody caravan. Well uh, people can buy caravans, Deb, and uh they get it away and they oh look at scratch there, oh look at that there, I didn't see that all there's nothing wrong with this because she's looked after it. Which oh. millions and millions and millions of women look after it. It's not just me, Tony. Yeah, no, that, we all look after it. There's not a scratch in it or nothing, is there? There's not a dent or, or on paintwork. Oh, I can find you a few things. Can you? Because I can't. 
Take a look. Is that a good? Hang on. Oh, I'll tell you what I have found. He tried to cause an argument yesterday because um, obviously I cleaned that mirror every time we've used it. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it shows up. Look at that. As yeah, soon as I've as mean? soon as I've cleaned that mirror. Yeah, but what did you say? It's not me. It's not me. And then the bald nap comes when he's cleaning his teeth. I do that. No, no, you don't because it's there. So you, that, you must do something, yeah. Oh look, like, there's two there for me oh, clean, eh? Said it won't um, cause an argument near enough. Right, we're going. It's only a good job I didn't take him on because I knew it was his bald nap doing it. We're going out in, um, what, 10 minutes? No, I've not made bed yet. And when we've made bed, oh, and I've cleaned that mirror. You cleaned that mirror, there's about four on it now. Yeah, I know, that's you. Uh, well, yeah, but the bottom one must be you. About two I, foot off ground. I've got. <laughs> I'm joking. I've got uh, glass cleaner that you get with. Glass and mirror cleaner that you get with. Yeah. The uh, when you pay for the safeguard thing put on your van. I know. When she decides stop cleaning. Don't make out I'm always cleaning. Well, clean. You what? Your nickname at home is Mrs. Inch. No. So you're the caravan know-it-all and Mrs. Inch. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll we'll let you know when we get our new van. So bye bye, Deb. And we'll go for a ride out. A uh, what? A ride out. <laughs> <laughs> well. I told you, I, I speak before I think. Oh. Oh, you know. Alright, see you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, we've just arrived at St. Michael's on wire. <coughs> Car boot sale, and I think they've gone straight to the food stall. Bacon butties. I will show you about a little bit. See you in a bit. Did you go to that fishing fishing stall, Darren? Yeah. Nothing there, no? Nothing there where I knew. Right, quite a big, quite a big caboose sale, isn't it? A lot yeah. of motor homes on as well. There'd have been more on if they'd been uh, dry. A nicer day, yeah. I've just bought some toffees up to now. See you in a bit. <laughs> Quite a few little motor homes on here as well, isn't there? Huh? A few motor homes on here. Yeah. Mmm, and all I bought here up to now is them. Toffees. That's a big one over there, isn't it? Yeah. See in a bit. That's it. That's the end of the car boot. It's a big car boot sale. But we always come to these car boot sales and never buy anything. Apart from toffees and me chips of curry. Right, we'll go back and we'll see what we're doing. You enjoy that little walk, you called? Freezing. Always called, Deb. You're missing, you're missing your eating, aren't you? Does your mate uh, eat it wellies? I think they do actually. I might look into that. The feet are not cold. Right, we've all just arrived. We've got our... We've all just arrived. It is our van. Well, yeah, we're all in our awning. Our Rebecca will come in a minute, but we bought a new bingo machine. And we'll go crack on them when everybody's money. In your dreams. In our dreams. So we'll see you in a bit. Shut up, Chris. Hi. Time to get ready to go home. We've had a fantastic weekend, haven't we, Deb? Yeah. Um, we've, um, first time ever, we've done, we've had to cut a little bit out because the video would have been an hour, an hour long and we can't, an hour is a bit too much of us too. So, uh, but we said we'd give you some news on the caravan. Um, when do we pick it up? Saturday, 21st of May. Saturday, 21st of May. So we're coming 10 here on... 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. So we're coming here on the Friday. To get this awning down and put it up on our Wendy's, get it emptied, Saturday morning, we're off, 9 o'clock, Stuart Longton's, uh, pick hers up, then she'll be back here for about dinner time, shall we? Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, get it all set up. I was working Sunday, um, but I've had to cancel that, because um, they're putting the new awning, awning up, yeah. Mm. So we're really looking forward to that. Should have had it last week in February, but we've got it third week in we shouldn't have had it last week in February at all. Well, last week in February, first week in March, you say. Very road, it's come. I spoke to him on Friday. Uh, it's on for dispatch. Um, they should get it Wednesday. And they just said, uh, give us a ring. Uh, 
you need to sort your collection date out any time after the 16th of May so the first weekend is uh, 21st so we'll show you around when we get it eh? yeah can't wait can't wait so it's been a good weekend we've had a cracking weekend um, and we'll don't forget to give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next weekend hopefully bye bye